Live from the Bakuran High, this is BHS News, where we deliver the latest, hottest, and honest news. These are your anchors. Good afternoon, Philippines. I am Lena Campo. And I am Kyla Marie Garcia. Join us as we deliver the most important news gathered from the different parts of the world. This is BHS News. And now for the headlines. Gordon thinks killing drug dealers won't solve the problem. 23 baby pandas made their debut in China. Pope makes surprise visit to Italy quake zone. Ateneo still happy despite their loss to La Salle. Mark Anthony Fernandez was arrested for illegal drugs. For the local news, Senator Dick Gordon on Monday, October 3, criticized President Rodrigo Duterte for his public announcement on wanting to kill drug dealers and users in the country. For Gordon, Duterte's pronouncements are not helping its administration's war on drugs because it tends to highlight extrajudicial killings which alarm local and international groups. For the international news, 23 baby pandas made their world debut last Thursday, presented to the crowd that had gathered at the Chengdu Research Base of Giant Panda Breeding in Chengdu, China. The pandas range in age from 1 to 4 months. CBS reports adding that the breeding center has been overwhelmed with the pandas due to the almost double the usual number of birds. The black and white balls of fur mostly just launch around, but a few extra adventurous and clumsy pandas took a tumble onto the ground. Another world news will be delivered by Miss Abby. Thank you, Kyla. Who makes a prize visit to Italy quick so? The Vatican said the Pope arrived in Amatrice on Tuesday morning, accompanied by the Bishop of Reilly, and started his tour at the school. He then planned to visit the hardest hit area of the town, which remains largely closed due to security concerns. Pope Francis had made clear his intentions to visit the quake stricken zone but without announcing a date. He indicated that he wanted to go alone to be close to the people. Thank you, Abby, for your report. The sports news will be delivered by Larry. Thank you. Ateneo is still happy despite their loss to the sun. The Ateneo Blue Eagles played with green archers tight in the first quarter. On the second quarter, the Ateneo got lead but on the third quarter, LaSalle controlled the game. DLSU forced ADMU to 30 turnover. But Ateneo remains in the final picture at 4th place. Ateneo said they are satisfied with how they perform in the first round of UAEP Season 79. I'm Larry Lansang delivering you the sports news. Thank you Larry. The showbiz news will be reported by Abigail once again. Thank you Len. Actor Mark Anthony Fernandez was arrested for possessing a kilo of marijuana in Angeles City, Pampanga. Actor Mark Anthony Fernandez was arrested for alleged possession of a kilo of marijuana in Angeles City, Pampanga, Monday night last October 3. Police recovered the illegal substance inside Fernandez's yellow Ford Mustang after a car chase with authorities from Angeles City Police Station 6. Chief Inspector Francisco Guevara Jr. said Fernandez was flagged down at a checkpoint along MacArthur Highway in Barangay Birhen de Les Remedios because his car had no front license plate. After inspection, police found a widely opened blue bag containing a torn plastic with suspected marijuana, but Fernandez sped away. Again, this is Abigail Lava delivering you the hottest news. Back to you, Len. And now, for the latest updates from our very own campus, this is the Campus News. Brought to you by April. Thank you, Les. I'm here at Becker and I feel so As you can see, the program is already over, but it still continues throughout the day. So now, let's ask some teachers about how they felt about the program. I'm, of course, very happy, very grateful because uh, this event uh, shows the uh, sincerity of uh, our students. Um, it's not the gift, it's the giver of the gift. Uh, we are so blessed to have our 
uh, Teachers Day celebration today and uh, what made us more uh, excited uh, is the, the way students treated uh, their teachers. And so with that, uh, we are so thankful and uh, so blessed to have them, especially uh, in times like this, uh, there are lots of uh, uh, things that we need to consider, but of course we are so blessed uh, to have them, especially we are part of the celebration. So you have it folks, the teachers really enjoy the program and also the students since they were given the time to thank their teachers. I am April Omamangon, delivering you the hottest news in DHS campus. Back to you, Len and Kyla. That's all for today. Again, this is Lena Campo. And I'm Kyla Marie Garcia. And, and this, this is BHS News, where we deliver the hottest, latest, and honest news.